Hey guys! Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school at Sayori. But last time we found some, uh... Sayori's got quite a bit of issues. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I am more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monika, I'm sure the event will be great too. Okay, I just I just went to make sure that uh, I wasn't hearing any sound, so making sure that wasn't that was normal. I think it is. And Jade. You're the first one here. Thanks for being so early. That's that's funny. I thought at least Yori would be here by now. Monica's placing little, little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think on days this important you try a little harder. I'd say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. Yeah, that's not a nice thing to say after... After everything she poured her heart out about to us yesterday. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Haha, <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But... I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? Uh, about how I basically turned down her confession? That really makes me seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Again, I, I keep checking the settings, and during all of this, there is no music, and I'm again, I'm checking the settings to make sure that's supposed to be the case. And it is supposed to be. It seems like it's supposed to be dead silent through this. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed in its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one I haven't read before. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head. What is this? 
get off my head before I know what's best for you. Before I get off my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get off my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get off my head before I show you how much I love you. Get off my head before I finish writing this poem that I've almost never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Jade, what's wrong? Nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else he already's written. But more than that, I, I I changed my mind. I'm gonna get Siori so Oh well alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her to help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking to her school makes her pretty happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they've always been. That's all she needs and what I need to give her. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house? Is that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. What the fucking shit?! That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and that everything will be okay. Then why... Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. Thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. 
I only had one chance, and that I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. I think my life is worth all the powers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 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 Whoa, 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 what? That's it? Oh! <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, we are at the point where... Okay, folks. I think I have reached the meat and potatoes of this game. Sayori is all fucked up on the title screen and so is this, uh, whatever the hell this is. Oh god. Distorted. The music's distorting. I and so is the... So is the text a little bit. I see an annoying girl riding toward him from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is... My neighbor and good friend are children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently instead of waking up. She she's half me, I almost better up right away. However, just sigh an idle and further across my leg. Catch up to me. What the <laughs> school day like any other. Right. 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 Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always told myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by in the average while spending my free time games like anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. So as morning as ever, before I, over before I know it, I pack my things, I start blankly looking for transportation, clubs, and it's me, but then, ain't no, just sort the anime club, Jade. Monica! Oh my goodness, I didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having your smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What'd you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Foreign markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? Quit? Yeah. 
be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing around the budget, publicly, and, and publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club? Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. I'd like to see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Yeah. You said three. So... Sayori is like... Sayori is like completely erased, isn't she? I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, by any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at least join my club, it would make me really happy. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I can check it out. Oh, awesome! You're really sweet, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs. I really visit generally used for third year class and activities. Again, this is this is playing out much the same as before, but now now Siori is like it's it's like she's not even there now. This <laughs> this is this is re this is really cool, actually. Freaky Freaky and cool at the same time. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Eh? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club. All words escape me. The club is full of incredibly cute girls. Minus one. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? Uh, no, I'm not Natsuki. The girl with a sour attitude, his name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the Vice President. Nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran to Jay in a classroom. He decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you bought anyone new? I was gonna, well, you know... Sorry, I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you come sit down? The girls have a few desks arranged for him at table. Yuri walks into the corner of the room and opens the closet. Monica and Natsuki. Sixty next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right home, okay? Club. To put it that way, not many people are interested in putting the effort to join a club and enjoy You have to grab your attention, you have to work hard to convince people. Well, I 
guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Girls use in the same bowl, one goes for hard. Do a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, it's a hot cup of tea, help enjoy a good book. Well, I guess. Aside from this, uh, so far this part of the dialogue is redundant, but it, despite that, this, this is intriguing. I depart the club, make my way home, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. See, like I said, Sayori is now... about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. He gives me friends. I ask me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. Papa comes home for sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa drives. Hey, I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes along with me up. I like when Papa can, keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins on the couch. He's too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Okay, we are, oh, we're back to making our, make our poem, except again, we're missing. Let's, uh, so, let, let's see about, um, let's see about favoring Yuri this time. Let's pick, let's pick topics that I think Yuri will like. Massacre. That sounds really good.
again? Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. It feels strange for me, but at least I gave my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was last to come in, so everyone else is right, already hanging out. Um... Did your face just glitch for a second, Yuri? I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first in literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Yo, whoa, um, hey, Monica, you're blocking the text box there. Natsuki finds herself stuck between Monica and Manga. Manga's literature! Slowly defeated, Natsuki plops back in her seat. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint gaze. Name club. So picking up a book. Yeah, I'm in the club. Yeah, it didn't mean it like that. If you totally want to forget anything I said, I guess. Uh no, it's not like that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of the club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so we should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. So, you know, it's like Mona could kick off some scheduled activities. Okay, so he's always buried in a book account, but knows her intense expression. Talk to Yuri a bit more, but at the same time, I feel bad distracting her from reading. Same book she lent to me. Oh, crap. I think she knows me looking at her. This is her glance. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her books. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have known it's the first place. Read a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. I'm just curious. How can you have two copies of the same book? Oh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, um, uh, that's not what I meant. I, I mean, I, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear it. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about? Well, the Portrait of the Meadow. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to. Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Uh, the book, I mean. Uh, not the thing about the limbs. <laughs> uh, that's kind of... kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. As opposed to what... As opposed to the crap that came right before this. 
Ah, uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing? Uh, no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy this kind of story, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. So shy, shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Uh... Um... Um... Not again. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things like books and write fill my thoughts... My whole... What? Um, your whole body what? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. No, you said something else! So, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Too late for that, girl! I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can do is listen to the literature club. That's... well, that's true. In fact, I may as well get started reading it, right? Um... <laughs> Yes, I mean, you don't have to, but... What are you saying? Let me just get the book. I can get the book, put my bag, my books in here. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry, it's not I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading company. It's as if I can feel her presence all over my shoulders as I read. After what had been... After what just happened, that is feeling a lot creepier at this point than it did before. Not a particularly bad thing, but I'm gonna get the feeling it kind of is. Where my eye? It's over. Oh, I was just bathing a feeling of your of a bathing in what? What? What, Yuri? What, Yuri? really apologize a lot, don't you? I don't really mean to. I mean, uh, should work. I saw I made desk. Suppose so. Very close to her copy. Page. Oh. Your takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between your thumb and forefinger. Distracting me. I feel the warmth of Yuri's face is just in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? To turn the page. So this is all playing out very similar as, bef as before, but uh, I'm getting the feeling this is the point. It's gonna, s it's gonna start getting, it's gonna start getting creepy as shit. As 
what you're talking about. I thought you meant something else. <laughs> Your race been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. The rest of you feel sick. Your your hands are in chest. acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Are you worried? Oh, don't worry, I believe you. Yuri does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Suki. Harsh. What, you expect me to believe you put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? Like it. Just be honest. Yeah, it's the same poem as before, but essentially expressing how other people can do things that she feels that she can't. sharing our poems. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. We have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took all the time you needed. Thanks, Monica. Want to read my poem? Okay, this looks like the same. different from what it was before? He wasn't looking at me. her mouth and ends up covering her whole face. He's gonna hate me. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting nervous for? This is the reason. 
person I was able to tell. Your specific writing habits are usually typical of new writers. Okay, again, this is feeling like, so far, again, aside from a few subtle points, this day is playing out similar as it did on the first day originally. I am noticing the music is a little bit lower key. The exchange between sheets of paper is a in tandem. What's with this language? Huh? Did she say something? Oh, it's nothing. And so he dismissively returns it home. So it's fancy. It's still... There are even... I think it's the same as it was. What is this? What? step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. 
There's no music again, just like it was with Sayori earlier. This is... I'm feeling a little bit uneasy. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Oh, okay. Natsuki runs out of the class. So, oh, Natsuki. Oh, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Aw. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Oh, no. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth at her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Jade, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. I don't think so. Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go you can go home first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. Uh, it's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble. Okay, folks! <laughs> Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. I will see you guys next time, and we will continue onward with uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Later, guys. I'm playing a game.